Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today I'm going to check out the Mighty 19 PCI Express Lanes motherboard. But before we start, I want to thank our sponsors for today's video. Crypto Invest Hub is a hosting service for your ASIC miners. They thrive to make mining more profitable for you. They provide hosting for your miner in a high-tech facility with 24-7 on-site support and CCTV camera. With the simple and fair monthly prices, it's very easy to start mining with Crypto Invest Hub. You can buy or rent miners directly from them. Crypto Invest Hub is located in Georgia in a free industrial zone which means there are zero taxes for all their services. Check them out in the link in the description below. You guys build mining rigs before or you watch my videos. It can be quite expensive, especially if you have, let's say, a 19 graphics card. A regular motherboard, okay, like a normal gaming motherboard, maybe can hold two and supports maximum of four. Now, throughout the time, Asus, ASRock, and other companies start to make motherboards that are specifically for mining. People who are mine, especially big corporations or people who actually grow and, you know, wanted to invest in mining, have much more than only two or four video cards. They have six or sometimes hundreds of video cards. So you can go ahead and build a mining rig with six video cards, let's say, with a mining um, motherboard, has six PCI Express lanes. But if you have a lot of video cards, it can be quite expensive. Every six video card that you have, you have to buy a motherboard. But now with a device like a motherboard like this, you can have 19 different video cards in one build. So you only need is a frame to put it all together, right? To put it all the video cards in one place and you can power it up on one OS system and one motherboard. So that's the main advantage here. It's basically lowering your cost of having so many motherboards. What I really, really like about it is that it has a built-in software to kind of show you which uh, lane is working or not working. It also has support to three different power supplies, right? Each part of the motherboard is controlled by a separate power supplies. There's three zones, A, B, and C. And you have three different motherboard power connections. You know how a motherboard have usually one, so this one has three. Why you need this? Because so many PCI lane needs a lot of power, okay? And that's why you need so much motherboard connections power to power up so many of them. And so basically you're gonna connect three different power supplies in one motherboard, very unique. You don't really see that on everyday motherboards, maybe on some server motherboards. Some other things I like about it is that it has specific modes for mining efficiency. So it really is designed for mining. It's designed to run 24 seven. In the box, you can see right away it says mining expert and let's open it up. So like any other motherboard, pretty much, you have some CDs and, you know, there's a CD with the drivers. You actually might need to use that because, well, it has the drivers to show you the software of which PCI Express Lane is working or not and have more efficiency. And so, yeah, you're gonna need that for sure. You have an IO protector right here. There's some book instructions on how to set it up and what to do with it. And let's see the main piece. Wow, pretty nice. So we have LGA1151 supports six and seven generation CPUs. So you can really use a very like, you know, cheap one or budget one but make sure that it can support so many PCI lanes. So, because some CPUs support less or more than others. So you have to really make sure. Um, so we have one full PCI Express X16 slot right here. This one is, if you really wanna connect it as a, to a regular case and have one video card in there. I don't see really the reason why, other than to maybe some diagnostics, like if you can get a video out from the motherboard, maybe you need that but other than that, it's not really needed. So you have here 
all the lanes you see 19 of them amazing there's so many of them and you also have some um, ox ports this one can be used if you need to power up uh, razors and stuff like that you can use those uh, extension power connections here to basically power up your razors and let's see what else we have two uh, two dim slots for the RAM pretty basic and let's see right here in the front um, you can see that we have really f old school <laughs> PS2 I think it's called PS2 uh, mouse and keyboard connection you have HDMI this is very important and then you have two H USB 2.0 and four USB 3.0 and we have an Ethernet connection so yeah pretty basic you can see the capacitors it seems to be pretty high quality uh, pretty standard those days for gaming motherboards for, but uh, it's good to have on those mining motherboards as well here you can see that three different power plugs that's really amazing I never seen that three different power plugs motherboard power for three different power supplies of course you're gonna need three power supplies because each video card can take between 50 to 350 watts well maybe 250 watts each but it's still a lot so no way one power supply can do it each power supply can maybe reach 1600 or 1200 watts and together you have like 3000 to 4000 watts of power to power up all those video cards you can find motherboards like this for specifically for mining on bitcoinmerch.com and some other cryptocurrency related products there as well Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment below. What do you think about this particular motherboard? Will you use it for your mining rig? Are you using it right now? Also, let me know what else should I do video about on the channel. I always like to read your comments and improve and make videos about what you guys want to see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.